When vaccination programs began in the 1950s and 60s, it freed families from much of the fear of death or lifelong disability from simply catching a bad bug. But without that historical experience, there's a fading awareness of the essential role of vaccines. Up until recently, parents haven't seen these vaccine-preventable diseases in their communities. They've had a false sense of security. Until a child dies from a preventable illness. And there have been modern reminders, with recent outbreaks of measles, mumps, and right now whooping cough, or pertussis, has broken out in northern Alberta. <laughs> a potentially deadly bacterial infection that threatens the unvaccinated, including infants who are too young to get the shot. These outbreaks are evidence that vaccination rates are not as high as they could be, and that's why Canada's doctors are demanding that parents provide proof of vaccination when kids start school. And if they can't provide that proof, they would be forced to tell public health officials why not. Not mandatory vaccination, yeah, but mandatory conversation. There is a, a conversation that takes place with public health officials to try and uh, answer questions about safety of the vaccines or address any barriers to immunization. Yeah, we're all done. A recent Statistics Canada report reveals that vaccination rates for Canada's two-year-olds hovers between 75 to 89 percent, depending on the shot. But the Canadian Medical Association says those rates should be higher. We feel very strongly about this and we're hoping that um, our role as advocates, as physicians um, advocating for our patients, we're hoping that will we'll catch the attention of policymakers. Right now, only Ontario and New Brunswick require proof of vaccination before starting school. But the CMA resolution would add a new feature, that mandatory talk with public health officials if parents can't provide the vaccination record. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.